Great, let me check in with the entirety of uh, chapter 20, 23, uh, a short and sweet chapter where uh, Miss Bretherton and Miss Tremlett go to the factory. Uh, the kids are paraded in, in front of, uh, they do, they, they get to the striking, beautiful girl, the, the special girl that, uh, these, these kind of novels apparently, uh, the, the, these, these kind of novels have, it kind of insulting to all the other kids there, to be honest, that, that, uh, Fanny Fletcher is just this shining little gem, uh, amongst all these other children. Uh, I guess the excuse being that she was actually, uh, had a healthy childhood and was raised so has even in the the several months that she's been there she hasn't been completely turned into a brain dead skeleton from malnutrition and stuff like that uh she tells them that michael is dead because that's what she she knows uh mary is really upset uh they stop the other children uh she mary does think quickly and says like okay i want to take you away then i i i need to take you away and you know we can question you more or we can also rescue you from here not rescuing any of the other children, but I mean, you're doing what you can do. They're basic. She's basically agreed to pay a hundred pounds and another hundred pounds to um, take somebody away. So at least she's getting, at least she's getting Mary away. Uh, um, they, they, um, they, both the Miller and Woodcomb, the uh, the manager who is getting all the the lion's share of the money, they basically do everything they can to squeeze as much money out of Mrs. Miss Brotherington as possible. They are locked in here, and there's definitely that sense of oh shit, oh shit, we need to get out of here. And um, they end up basically giving them all their spare change. She does not open her pocketbook again because then maybe things would even be worse. Uh, but so yeah, they get out uh, and they're gonna walk. Uh, until hopefully, hopefully uh, the Miller catches up with his jockey cart and picks them up. But um, uh, Miss Brotherton is definitely affected by a the news of uh, Michael Armstrong's supposed I, I'm going to go with supposed death, and uh, for the fact that um, that this is just like you know all the children she's seen are malnutritious, malnu malnourished skeletons. Uh, so it's quite horrifying that way. It's good. Good melodrama, good, good, good. Like, oh, we gotta have tension in 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 this scene, and then good tension in this scene. So, uh, we're we're we are we're doing that. So yes, the three females pass through it with no lingering steps, and heard it close heavily behind them with feelings assuredly very different in degree, but in so far the same that each one, as she stepped over the threshold, breathed a prayer that she might ne never repass it again. It's like, oh my God, I'm like, I'm we're rescuing someone from literal hell is the kind of the sense you get. Don't look back because you will turn into a pillar of salt and get sucked back into this factory. Uh, yeah. All right. I will leave it there. More videos later.